Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over a really quick tutorial of how to use the fillet and chamfer function. Very basic, very easy functions, and they come in handy quite a bit. You'll use them somewhat often depending on how much you want to clean your drawing up, so let's get into it. Alright, so here I have two shapes, and they both have very pointy edges. So, what we want to do is we want to fillet and or chamfer the edges. And, again, very simple function. But we're going to start by going up to the Modify box underneath the Home tab. And we're going to go up to the Fillet Function button. So there's a drop down arrow next to it. And we are just going to focus on Fillet and Chamfer today. There's Blend Curves as well. But for right now, we are just going to go with Fillets and Curves. So first, we're going to go with Fillet. We're going to press Fillet. And before we do anything else, before we even... It's going to ask you to select your first object. Before we do that, we want to go down here and type in Radius. Okay, once we've typed in radius, we're going to click enter, and it's going to ask us how big of a radius we want that fillet to be. So for this square, or rectangle, excuse me, we will say we want the radius to be 2 inches, okay, or sorry, 3 inches, which is 3 inches, that's the units I'm using. We're going to press enter. Now, we want to press both sides or click and select both sides of the rectangle where the corner meets and where we want that fillet to drop. So if we want the fillet to drop right here, we are going to click this line and then we're going to click this line. And as you can see, it put a two inch fillet into that rectangle. So what about this odd polyline, polygon shape, whatever you want to call it? Well, we can do the same thing here. We're going to go up to fillet. And as you can see, it's going to ask us for the same thing. If we want the radius to stay the same, and we're just going to pretend like we do, I don't need to do anything. I don't need to put a new radius in. All I need to do is click the two adjacent lines that come to the point that I want to put a fillet in, just like this. I click here, and then I'm going to click here, and there we go. It gives us a fillet onto that point. Now, a chamfer is somewhat similar, but a little bit different. A chamfer, we're using distances instead of radiuses. So, for the chamfer, we're going to go back up to where it says fillet. We're going to click that drop down arrow, left click, go to chamfer. And here, just like the fillet, we've got the option to uh, undo, polyline, distance, angle, trim, method, multiply, all down there. But... The difference, again, is the radius is not there. Instead, it is distance. So, we're going to go down here. We're going to click distance, or excuse me, type in distance. Click enter. And now it's asking us what the distance is going to be. So, we're just going to go with, we'll go 1.5 inches this time. And it's asking us to specify the first chamfer distance. It's going to ask us now to specify the second one. And, you know what, again, we'll go 1.5. Enter. Now we have a first and second chamfer distance of 1.5 inches, and we're going to come up here and now click both adjacent lines where that angle is, and there you go. So what that 1.5 is, is if you go back to that other line or the original rectangles that were there to create this point, you have 1.5 going up right here and 1.5 going up right here. So, for example, say we want two different distances on a chamfer. We're going to go back here, type in distance again, click enter. First distance, we're going to say at 1.5, enter. The second distance will go 2, enter. And here we go. It's going to be a little bit offset. As you can see, this is 2 inches, this is 1.5. A little bit of a different chamfer going on there. And you can do the same thing here, too. Since we've already got the distance measured, we can just go in and we can chamfer this edge right here. And there you go, it gives us that chamfer. So, again, very basic, very easy to do. can be a little frustrating at first if you don't know that you have to type in the radius. But once you get that handled and, you know, down, very easy function to master. Alright, so that's going to wrap up the video here. If you like the video, leave a like down below. If you have a better way of doing something or... There's a bet or just a comment in general. Leave it in the comment section. If you like the video, you can subscribe to the channel as well. I have a bunch of other hopefully helpful videos that you can learn from, so go check those out. And um, 
Again, thanks for watching the video. I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.